So as we just did for the 22 EDO tuning system, today we're gonna have a second look at a tuning that we already covered, 19 EDO. If you're just getting into microtonality, moving around this tuning is a breeze. And we got a few new harmonic flavors that extend beyond the 12 tone tuning to play with. Alright folks, as mentioned, we have already covered the basics of 19 EDO, and now we'll have a gander at some of the extended harmonies that can be accessed. This is a great tuning. Like most EDOs, it's been around for a while. It first came to prominence in the 16th century, and does Renaissance era music a lot of justice. But like any tuning, it can be explored in all kinds of ways. So again, if you're only used to playing the 12 notes most of us Westerners are born into, 19 will feel pretty inviting. It may not be a logical exact doubling like 24 EDO, but it's still pretty easy to grasp. We're still just dealing with the same two accidentals from 12 video, but now sharps and flats are their own distinct notes. So as I said in our first look at this tuning, the flat to sharp relationship here lives on either side of 12 video's counterpart. And now that they're their own distinct notes, we have more options. And more options means new vibes. So let's just go ahead and listen to a few different scales we could play. So that kind of gives you a feel for what we're working with here. With 19 notes, we get that standard four flavors of thirds that you're gonna find in most EDOs. So we've got the sub minor, the minor, the major, and the super major. But now let's hear what we got going beyond the five limit harmony, starting with some major chords. Okay, we've got our trusty major seven. the dominant seven. So pull that seven back a step and we get the harmonic seven. Now the harmonic seven is a great chord that exists in most EDOs, but is sadly lost with 12 EDO. And as with any chord, it's gonna feel different from tuning to tuning. Here in 19, the harmonic seventh is flat about 21.46 cents from just intonation. But that isn't necessarily a bad thing. Every note in any given chord is gonna approximate differently to J.I., which kind of gives it its own unique feel. So let's hear what the harmonic seven sounds like in a few different tunings. So it's a subjective thing, I think, whether it's less or more accurate to J.I., how it sounds to you really comes down to your own personal ear. But let's get back to 19 here. Let's see what those minor chords have to offer. So the minor third here does a great job approximating the J.I. It's sharp only by 0.15 cents. So we got the good old minor seven. And if we push that minor seven up to a major seven, we have the minor major seventh. which to my ears feels a lot better than it does in 12 video. The minor six here sounds really great. By bumping that six up to where we played the harmonic seventh, we get a minor augmented six. And 
And from there, we could go down to sub minor land and play a sub minor seventh. Or head in the opposite direction and play a super major seventh. Love the way that one just hangs. For a super major chord, it feels really sweet and gentle to me. There's the fully diminished chord that doesn't want to be left out with the diminished triad and that seven of four harmonic added. Or if you're feeling more augmented, you could do a major seven sharp five. Which really just feels like it wants to resolve. And finally, we could look at some ninth chords here. Of course, there's the major nine. the dominant ninth. But make it a harmonic ninth by pulling back to the harmonic seven. Or if you're feeling real spicy, you could even do a harmonic seven flat nine. Whoa. So we have options. And life is nice when we have options for spice. I think in any tuning you use, you can find flavors that work for you. And it's a lot of fun to mix them up. And that about sums it up for this time around. But if you are just getting into microtonality, I do suggest checking this one out. And for any of you out there that already know this tuning well and you have a Lumitone, I'd love to see any clips you might have showing what this tuning is actually capable of. You can just tag us on your Instagram or TikTok posts and we can post them as well. But thanks for the continuing support from those who do. We do really appreciate it over here and we'll see you soon.